Hey guys, it's Casey. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to go through my empties for the week. Um, I got through some stuff, so I wanted to share with you guys um, what I've been warming. So for some of you guys, if, if you're kind of newer to the channel or to YouTube um, wax videos, you might wonder like, why do I care what you've been warming? So the reason I watch these, why, like, what have you been warming videos is because I like to hear um, other people's opinions about performance in particular. Um, sometimes things in a bag or on a website, like I expect it to smell one way, and then when I warm it, it smells different. Um, I also really like to hear other people's recommendations because sometimes it makes me purchase things that I might not normally purchase. So first, um, I one of the things that I've been working on, um, I think you guys know, is I'm trying to get through um, a brick or a loaf um, every month. So I've already gotten through my brick for the month of April, which was um, red pear and pomegranate, but I started on Johnny Appleseed. So um, I did use like half a row and another half right here. So I still have like probably one or two house melts left. Um, and I'm gonna try and get through those um, in May. So I did this and I also had a little bit left of a, um, of a um, clamshell. So I love Johnny Appleseed. This is my daughter, my oldest daughter, her favorite wax of any waxes that ever existed. This is it. It is apples and pear. Some people only smell apple, red, juicy apple. It is red, juicy apple. I do smell pear. Um, and I love this scent. There's absolutely no spice, just apples and pears. Great performer. Um, lots of people like that one. I finished, um, two clams of Angel Experiment 624. Um, look at the difference. See the yellowing in this one and the clearness in this one. I mean, I don't really know, um, the age difference. Um, so for me, um, did I do the other angel this month, week? I don't think I did. Um, the thing about the thing about the stitch and angel scents for me is I feel like they smell a little bit waxy. Like I can, like I almost feel like I can smell that it's a wax melt, and I'm just kind of not here for that. Um, this kind of to me smells like a pink starburst, um, like kind of that like sugary pinky strawberry note. Um, but that wax note is just prominent for me. I think since he does um, other pink sugary things better than this one. So for for me, I was getting through these. This would not be a repurchase. Um, Johnny Appleseed will be a repurchase forever. Um, I did, what else? What other Scentsy? I did this Scentsy, which was Chamomile Daisy from the Life's a Garden collection. This was a nice tea note. Um, it is definitely tea and definitely lemon. I don't smell a lot of the chamomile. Um, I do, I, I can tell it's like an herbal tea, but I don't know that I necessarily pick up chamomile tea. Um, so much as just kind of a generic -y tea note and lemon. It actually is a very pleasant scent. I really liked this. I liked the performance. It wasn't overpowering, but it did scent my entire um, open concept area. So I actually liked this one quite a bit. So I would repurchase that one. I did two of these, We're All Mad Here, um, which was the Alice in Wonderland scent. And so this one is like maybe red currant, um, blackberry maybe, um, but it has like an effervescent note, like fizzy. And I'm not a huge fan of fizzy because it reads like a little citrusy, but kind of like, you know, kind of astringent cleanery to me. So if I could take the fizzy note out of this, I would really like it. If you like a fizzy note, you would probably really like this one. This, so many of our licensed products, I don't love the performance of. Sometimes the scent throw itself is very light. Sometimes it dies off really well, I mean, really quickly. But this is an exception I have found. This one is a really pretty strong scent. This um, is, is a pretty, in my opinion, strong scent, um, long-lasting scent, even for a fruit scent, because usually fruit 
dies off a little bit more quickly, but this one was a pretty, pretty decent, honestly. So that is all my Sunsea. So let's see, let's go with L3. I did two fluted tarts of Nanu Nanu, which is apple mango tango, strawberry sugar, and lemon sugar. Now guys, I really like apple mango tango, which is a um, like gain um, laundry scent. The thing about this melt is that it was super sweet. I'm imagining, so apple mango tango on its own, I really like, um, but this also has the strawberry sugar and lemon sugar. And so for me, it was like super duper sweet without a, like a bottom base note. There wasn't, you know, I normally like a fresh or a woods or even a spice or just some other like grounding note. And this was all just like bright, super sweet floral. Um, so for scent appeal, I really wanted another note. Um, but for what it was, it was a good performer. It was very bright and fruity. So um, I'll probably melt the rest of that upstairs in my kids' room because they really do like fruity scents. Um, going up there right now is She's My Cherry Pie, which is Lost Cherry Tom Ford type, vanilla patchouli, amaretto, and a tiny hint of leather. Okay, so I know it says a tiny hint of leather. Um, first, when I smell it in the bag, um, it just smells like cherry. Like not even the lost cherry Tom Ford type, but really like bright, candied, almost cough syrupy um, cherry. And I was like, oh no. So I put it upstairs in my kid's room and on warm, the patchouli comes out really nicely, but the leather is way strong. Like that, like genuine, full on, like boot shop leather smell. That's what I smell first. And the Tom Ford Lost Cherry type um, is, to me, has cherry notes, but it's like a cherry tobacco note, like kind of that, um, like almost like rich, earthy quality that like patchouli has too. And so on warm, I actually like this much better than I like it on cold. So if you are scared of cherry, and I, I'm i not scared of it, I just don't like it. Um, but I got it because like, she's my cherry pie. You know, like the, I'm, I'm a kid of the 80s. Um, but I just, I, like I thought the other, the other stuff in here, the patchouli, the leather would ground it a little bit, and it actually really does. So um, my kids smelled it in the bag and were like, yeah, put this in my broom. And then going warm, they're like, oh no, don't do that. And I had the exact opposite experience. I smelled it in the bag and I was like, sure, you can have it up there. But now that I'm smelling it um, up there with kind of that leather and stuff, it actually is really a very complex, nice scent. So I did that. I did some rear window. So you guys remember I'm doing like the um, pop culture basket. And so rear window is um, an old movie, right? Um, so rear window is breakfast of champions for these nosy neighbors, uh, or noisy neighbors, fresh brewed coffee and almond biscotti. This was very nice. Um, on cold, it's really nice. On warm, it's really nice. The um, almond biscotti to me doesn't read super bakery, but it does have a creamy note and it does have an almondy note. If you don't like almond though, don't worry. It's not super nutty. It's just kind of adds a dimension to the coffee. Um, it was really nice. So um, this would be a repurchase for me, for sure. Um, and then Vanilla Ice, which is creamy vanilla and sweet mint. Y'all, this is a boomer. Like this, I put in this room and I put in my bedroom. And I kept my night warmer on because I was like, minty scent. Um, I'm starting to really like mint at in the evenings like as I'm going to bed. But um, I have my warmers on automatic timers, like, you know, Alexa, turn on the Sensi timers. And so they come on. So um, I put it on, let's see, today's Friday. I put it on Wednesday night and um, I put it in this room and it was like maybe seven o'clock or something. So it got, you know, a couple of hours of melt. And then the next day I turned it on super early, like not like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., something like that. And then I work at my kid's dance studio until like I get home at like 9 30 at night so it was melting um for like 12 hours I came in and this was all I could smell like I walk in the front door and it's right here by this room 
but I could still smell mint. And like, I mean, so we're talking 15 hours of a melt. Um, and it was just one of these like little cubes. So this is really good. This would be a repurchase for sure. Very good. Um, let's see. And then I did this. I'm hoarding the last one, Camp Crystal Lake. Um, but I just ordered from her restock and she did this in a loaf. So I'm, like I can melt this now. Um, so Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, you guys, I can't even believe it's still on the site as a loaf. It is sea kelp, driftwood, sea moss, and leaves. I know that that sounds super green and it is super green, but I think, I, th I don't know if it's the driftwood. It, there is something about it that reads almost like sweet, perfume it, perfumey, like just on the back end. It is such a special scent. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess somebody just was like, I'm going to put all the green stuff together, but this is gorgeous. And this is one of those scents that linger. So even after I turn off my warmer, I can still smell this for an hour or two. Um, and I, the scent for me, the scent appeal is really good. The scent throw is really good. The lasting power is really good. This I love. I, like I'm trying to talk myself into not getting another loaf. Okay, but I love it. Um, I think that is all my L3. Okay, so I did one little half a bunny in Dark Knight. And I realize now that I probably need to use a full bunny for a melt. Um, so Dark Knight um, from Rainbow Melts is Blackberry, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. And this I did not get anything but like super duper sweet blackberry. And in the bag, I can smell the Palo for sure. I can smell that Palo Santo, like the woody note. And I don't know if it's just because I melted so little of it. I only melted, like I said, half a guy. And I'm, I'm thinking I really needed to smell the full guy because all I smelled was just kind of like light in the air, that blackberry note. I usually, um, Rainbow Melts is super strong for me, but I was using a new warmer that I haven't you know, like I hadn't like worked with before. It was my very first melt in that warmer. So I was trying to figure out like about the wattage and, and the, you know, throw and that kind of stuff. So I like crystal still my favorite. So anyway, I'm just saying, um, but for me, I only read blackberry on warm. So, um, I did take me to wonderland from with Indy. You guys know, I'm trying to get through my with Indy. This was like a little cup. Um, you can't smell anything in there. It is, it was like a little cup of tea. Um, I did try to dupe it um, with K's um, because it actually was probably, a, for scent appeal, it was actually really good. Um, performance was okay. Um, I do like a tea scent, but it's really hard to find a good tea oil because I don't want sweet tea, but I also don't want like herbal tea or mint tea mint tea I want and I, you know like Earl Grey is good but I I'm I want just like a I just want like unsweet Lipton tea and it's just hard to find I'll keep trying um okay so from Night Owl I did this which is an American in Paris French pastries baked baguettes strawberry jam and lemon curd this was great it was really good I got all of those notes um, so the French pastries, um, I got mostly like a bready note. Um, I didn't get a lot of like sweet sugary note, which I was here for because it has the strawberry jam, which is like a, like a super fruity, like bright jam scent. So it's not like that sugary sweet jam. I mean, strawberry, but like that, you know, that jam note that's kind of tart. And then like that even got more amped up with the lemon curd. This was beautiful. Um, this was a really good scent. I liked this one a lot. And the other night owl was Pop Rocks, which is just a single oil. Um, this was okay. Like the scent is kind of boring to me. Like it's just kind of candied strawberry scent. Um, and I don't smell the effervescence and I actually didn't get great performance out of this. Um, 
I don't really blame her. Like I got a mystery bag. I wouldn't have bought this like on my own, but I just got a mystery box and she sent me whatever. This isn't one that I would have picked for myself. I put it up in my kids' rooms. And like I said, it, it didn't have great performance. It didn't have great scent appeal. It was just okay. Um, I did a sample in Once Upon a Time um, from Super Tarts. So I'm trying, I bought a warmer for my um, office at work and I'm trying to melt one sample every single day to like get through things. And I'm trying this, I can't, it's like scentless. Um, so once upon a time, you guys help me. Like it smells to me like it's trying to be like a bedtime blend with some bakery even. But um, I didn't, I don't know the scent notes. I do have like a, like a bag of shapes in this. So when I go through it, I'll look up the scent notes because Supercharged doesn't have it on their bags. Um, okay, and then I did some Rose Girls. So I did this Best Friends Forever Club. I hated this, y'all. Like, I know this is really well loved, but this is like, so it's, I think it's supposed to be like lemon or some kind of citrus, lime or lemon and pineapple. It's very fruit punchy, which I normally don't like, but again, it is too sweet. Like, it is, mm -mm, no. The thing is, this was like a year old and um, it still is, is a boomer. Like I feel like when it's a scent you don't love, it's like really strong. But um, I didn't, I just, it, it's so strong. It, it works really well. If you love what the scent notes are, which I think are like pineapple, um, like God, maybe even some kind of like Kool-Aid scent or something, it's really strong. Um, it was really strong and it's still going. Um, and I haven't taken it out of my warmer, so it's not that bad, but it's super sweet, super, super sweet. Um, and then I did Alice in Slumberland, which is um, her, it's like sweet lavender and some like probably cotton candy. Um, this I could hardly smell, honestly. It did not have a really good throw for me. I didn't have great luck with it. Um, I only, it's a, there are mini melters and I just put one square in each warmer. So I'm gonna try putting two squares next time. But really if I have to use that much wax, like, I don't know, it wasn't, it, the performance wasn't great. Um, and then this is the last one that I did is Sensationals and it's Austin City Limits and it's a black wax. Like I don't see black wax very often. And this is like, um, really like, um, manly smelling with like a hint of like incensiness and almost like a hint of smoke. Um, so I lived in Austin when I went to school. That's where I went to college. And, um, this is like Travis right here. Um, this doesn't, the, so Sensationals did this whole like Texas line and, and they did different cities like, you know, so they have like San Antonio Fiesta cause like we do that. Um, and, and like conchas and you know, different smells, um, that mean something to Texans and, um, you know, the Comal river or like South Padre, like those are like places that we go. And, um, those, like some of those smell really nostalgic. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 this is that. Like, I, I get where they're going with this. This, I didn't understand. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't understand why this is Austin or Austin City Limits, which is like a music, um, like a music show kind of thing. Um, so this is okay. Um, these are like smaller cubes. Like if you can see they're smaller cubes. So I used three and I would say that this I put it in my bedroom and it, it's good for a bedroom melt. But if you get this um, particular scent, I would say like it's not gonna work in an open concept because it is very light. The scent is nice and in a smaller bedroom it worked. Um, and I'll use the other three like in my small bed, you know, another time and, and it'll work, but it's not open concept. Um, it won't hold up in an open concept. But scent appeal is pretty nice. I mean, it's it's okay. It's like smoky, intensey, kind of cologne -y. So anyway. That's what I melted. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. It is pouring rain here. Um, and in Texas, like, especially where I live, like we know don't complain about the rain because we don't get it that often. So yay rain. Um, I am really looking forward to this weekend. So let me say that 
um, tonight at 2 a.m. I'm gonna be up buying my friend some these Scentsy Warmers, these guys. Um, I bet they sell out tonight. So I'm gonna be buying um, some for my girls that really want them um, before they sell out. And then um, Heidi and Orville, like the people who own Scentsy or whatever, the CEOs, they always do like sneak peeks tonight, um, the last day of the month. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and we have like a little festival um, that's called Cornival, um, near where I live in Helotus. And um, we go every year. And um, so I'm hoping that the rain will hold off. Um, and we also have a birthday party. And this is the first weekend um, in more than a month where I have not had a dance competition. And while I love my children and they love dance, um, it will be nice to not have to glue eyelashes on an eight-year-old or, um, you know, talk to my 11-year-old about how she's going to get a platinum and she doesn't need to worry. It'll just be nice. So anyhow, um, tell me what you guys are doing this weekend and let me know if you've melted anything great. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.